shortly thereafter, I started hearing shuffling sounds behind me. I turned to see what was behind me and was faced with 10 police officers from the SPAL surrounding me. Terrell Day alleges that he was stopped and then immediately assaulted by no less than 10 Longoy police officers on September 14th at around 5.45 a.m. while he was walking to work here along France Street and Jean Beliveau on Montreal's South Shore. They eventually threw me to the ground where an officer put his knee on my back to restrain me, where they had put two sets of cuffs on me. As this was occurring, I was in fear of my life and screaming in hopes of attracting the attention of any passerbyers. The 28-year-old says he was taken to a police station in handcuffs where he remained in custody for two and a half hours. He also alleges that he was denied his right to contact a lawyer without delay and never formally placed under arrest. Day adds that he was ultimately given three tickets amounting to $747 in fines for walking on the roadway, spitting on the sidewalk and swearing at a police officer. I was released with three tickets for various things that they claimed I did while violating my human rights. In essence, our son was snatched off the street without an explanation, disrespected and brutalized by the very people that are put in place to serve and protect him. He was traumatized for merely commuting to work while black. Here we are once again shedding light on this shameful abuse of power by law enforcement in the province of Quebec, where black and other visible minorities are continually faced with the phenomenon of racial profiling. Longoy police tell City News by email that they are very sensitive to the concerns brought forth in the press conference by Red Coalition and that the events of this incident are under investigation with several verifications and validations still underway. The Red Coalition says they will file complaints with the Police Ethics Commission and the Quebec Human Rights Commission in an attempt to seek justice for day. The message this government is sending to police services in this province in so many different ways is the following. Keep on keeping on. We've got your back. Well, the RC is on that back. And we shall not get off until a change will come. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.